In this extremely cool geometry problem, we got this semicircle with a radius of 13. And these three squares are tightly packed inside a semicircle like this. And we've got to find the area of this small green square over here. If you want to solve this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let's call the side of this big cream colored square A. And we'll call the side of this purple gray square B. Now let's draw this radius here. And we know it's 13. Let's draw another radius here. And this one is also 13. Now let this segment here be X and this segment here be Y. This angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. We've now got two right triangles so we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the sum of the squares of a right triangle's shorter sides called legs equals the square of its longer side, known as the hypotenuse. Let's first look at this triangle on the left. Its legs are A and X, so let's take squares of those. And its hypotenuse is 13, so let's take the square of 13. And this will be our first equation. Now let's look at the triangle on the right. The legs are Y and B, so we take their squares. And the hypotenuse is 13, so we also take the square of that. And here is the second equation. Now both of these expressions equal 13 squared. So we can go ahead and write down that a squared plus x squared equals b squared plus y squared. Next, we take this x squared to the other side and it becomes minus x squared. And we take this b squared to here and it becomes minus b squared. This part can be factorized into this and this part can be factorized into this. Now, a is the side of the cream colored square, so this side must also be a. And b is the side of this purple gray square, so this side is also b. It is obvious that a plus b equals x plus y. Let's put that finding up here. And we can replace this a plus b with y plus x. And then cancel these on both sides. And we end up with this. Now I'm gonna tell you something that's definitely true. a equals a plus b minus b. We know a plus b is x plus y. So we can change this a plus b to x plus y. Then we put a minus b on each side to get this equation. We've got another a minus b up here. So let's substitute it with this. These y's cancel out and we can take this minus x to the other side where it becomes plus x. And these two add up to 2x. Now let's take this minus 2b to the other side where it becomes plus 2b. And we can conclude that x equals b which takes us to the next conclusion that a equals y. Let's keep these findings here. Now we can change this y to a and both of these segments turn out to be a. And we know x equals b, so we can change this x to b, and both of these segments are b. And this magenta, magenta. and this magenta segment down here is evidently a minus b. Now this side is also b, and this bigger side is a. So this segment, which is the side of the green square, must also be a minus b. This is the other side of the green square, so this is a minus b too. Now let's take this side and project it down here. And this is also a minus b. We can add these two and get 2a minus 2b. Now let's project this side a to here. And this line we draw here is the radius of the semicircle, so it's 13. And we've got a right triangle here. And we already had this other right triangle over here. And their hypotenuses are identical. And one of their legs are identical too. And we've got this hypotenuse leg theorem. And it states that if the hypotenuses and one of the legs of two separate right triangles are identical, then those triangles must be congruent. And it turns out these two triangles are congruent. So these two sides must also be equal. We can express that as b equals 2a minus 2b. Let's add 2b to both sides and it turns out 3b equals 2a. So we can say if b is 2u, then a must be 3u. So let's change this a to 3u. And this segment here is 2u. And this side is also 2u. Now let's go back to this right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem once more. This is the equation we get. And in the next step we get this. And these two add up to 13u squared. And we do the math to find out that u equals radical 13. We're so close to finding the green squares area. We know this side is 2u and this side is 3u. So this segment here, which is the side of the green square, must be 1u. And we know that u is radical 13. Now my son will help us find the area of the green square. Go ahead, son. Hello people, the area of a square equals the square of one of its sides. The side of the green square is radical 13. So we take the square of that. The square of radical 13 is radical 13. 
times radical 13, and that equals 13. Good job, son. Let's put 13 into the green square. So there we are. We found the area of the green square, and it's 13. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you push the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Have a good day, and, and see, see you, you soon. soon.